this is the work of God, that you believe in him who has sent. My brothers and sisters in Christ, these final words in the, the gospel today are something that we really need to unpack. This idea of what is it, what does it mean to believe? We hear certainly in the first reading a powerful consequence of belief. We see the powerful preaching of, of St. Stephen right before, you know, right after we've heard the passage of the the, the selection and the, the commission of the first disciples, and then we're about to immediately hear of the, the martyrdom of Stephen as the first of those. But he's giving powerful witness to what he believes. But sometimes we can fall into this trap of seeing belief as an intellectual exercise, in a sense to, to measure the facts that we have heard and to make a judgment, uh, a discernment of this kind, a, a, a truth claim, if you will. And this isn't necessarily wrong, but it is insufficient to grasp at what true belief means. Belief is not an intellectual exercise, but instead it's a wedding and actually a submission of the will and intellect together. And it's a response to authority, not just to fact. And so when Jesus speaks in response at people asking, well, what are the works we should be doing? And he says, the work of God is belief in the one he has sent. What he's saying is not just believe, not in the sense to nod and say, oh yes, Jesus, what you say is true. That is not belief. Because in that sense, we could say the devil believes. He knows everything that comes from God, but he rejects it anyways. It's not a, just a mere intellectual apprehension, but it is a submission to it. It's an exercise of will. It is a response to the authority to the one who gives the truth. And of course, in the mystery of our Christian faith, God is truth. The word of God, the living word of God, Jesus Christ, is truth. So he is the truth and the truth giver. He is both the, the word and the authority. But our belief is an assent, a giving over. And so, in a grasp, when we assent to something, even intellectually, it doesn't mean that we understand every last nuance of it. Uh, of course, in our faith, there's always place of mystery. And in fact, there is no faith to something. If we understood completely black and white and could just, you know, dust our hands off, that wouldn't be an act of faith. But it is when the mind recognizes that which is true and the will submits itself to it. When in the face of the love and the mercy of God, which is true, good, beautiful, we assent, I believe, these words of the beginning of our creed, I believe in one God, this is a handing over in the sense that, yes, I believe, I accept, and I give myself. I submit myself to this, what I believe. And so even as we grasp in mystery, our minds try to wrap ourselves around to untangle these mysteries, nonetheless we can say, I believe. But at the same time, this means that belief requires something of me. Belief involves a response, uh, a giving of myself. There are many people today who believe in Jesus or believe in God, and yet their life does not deviate from the path that was on. This belief is just an acknowledgement of some kind of truth claim. Again, we can invoke the example of Satan himself. Satan knows, he understands, but nonetheless says, I will not serve. So, we can say that Satan knows, but he does not believe. Likewise, to be believers means more than just assenting to a truth, but it means a committing of ourselves to it. In a sense of bowing the knee, I will serve to the, to the great master to the one who is true, good, and beautiful, to the one who has saved me, who has created me. Yes, I assent. I give my belief and I give myself. I bend the knee. This is what it is to be a believer. That is an empowering belief. Faith is a supernatural virtue that is given to us as the gift of God. And our act of faith, our response, is to hand over our mind our will, our love, and to hand it all to God and say, yes, Lord, I believe. May we believe during this Easter season and may it forever change us. 
May God bless you all.